let me share you my screen and we will start. Okay, one moment. Okay, that's great. <clears throat> so, um, quick remind, a quick review of the previous lesson. Uh, we're learning uh, how to use Jenkins library. Mm, the, and uh, one lesson ago, we have created a pipeline uh, web application build. And let's have a look what was done here. Uh, okay, and in this pipeline, uh, we put uh, a Golang code inside pipeline. It's not a good choice. It was just for demonstrating how pipelines work. And uh, now we are going to create a GitHub repository where we will be keeping our code. So let's go to uh, GitHub. And uh, I would suggest you to create a new repository. Repositories, new, let's call it a web app. And also it will be public for just for loan purposes. And create repository. Okay, and inside this repository, we will create uh, our application. One moment. Let's create a local. No. Just one moment. Okay. Here we will make a directory. To be inside this directory and be. Uh, so this code you are very familiar with. I took it uh, from uh, previous pipeline. So uh, it, it. Change to SSH as I'm using SSH key pair and add git remote and hit push. Okay. okay, now we have our GitHub repository is application and uh, we have a problem. It is needed to create a new pipeline and use GitHub inside this pipeline. First of all, we need to install GitHub plugin, but it was installed uh, 
two lessons ago, so uh, it is not needed now. And uh, let's create new pipeline. Okay. New item, type pipeline, it would be called web app GitHub. Hmm. I forgot to copy uh, script from previous pipeline. Let's copy it. Okay, and uh, we need to add a new stage um, before our code. So stages. Yeah. It is called stage uh, checkout source code management. And here we are going to to git pull our application. So the class git source code manager, branch main, uh, user remote config URL, HTTPS GitHub com and uh, your GitHub repository. And uh, as we will receive our uh, code it is not needed anymore to keep it inside pipeline so we can remove all this stuff and just keep uh, building the application uh, so uh, please keep in mind that application name should to be the same as in GitHub repository and at the build section. Uh, so I suppose everything should be okay. And let's click save. Hmm. Now let's run pipeline. So as far as you can see, uh, we have built our application successfully because we go to GitHub repository, make git pool for the web app file, and then just build it successfully. Uh, that's great. Next. One step next. Uh, as you can notice, it's not very convenient uh, each time to make git pull, uh, git push to repository and then uh, run a pipeline. Uh, let me show you the diagram what we are going to do. Okay, here is our plan for next uh, steps. Uh, in real life scenario, a developer uh, updates its code and then push this code to repository, for example, GitHub. And then uh, automatically, GitHub should uh, say to Jenkins that he has some updates 
and that uh, Jenkins should run pipeline. Uh, for these purposes, uh, GitHub webhook is used. Uh, step two, and then uh, step three, Jenkins uh, goes to a GitHub and receive uh, updated code. And then use this updated code in build, test, and deploy stages. So let's have a look how it is, uh, how it is working. First of all, we create new pipeline. It will go web up GitHub at hook and let's copy it from the pipeline we have just made web up GitHub. So as you can see, we have got the same code. And then um, there is the settings build triggers. And uh, we should use the GitHub hook trigger. And the uh, pipeline. Here we will be using not our pipeline script, but uh, we will push it, uh, pull it from GitHub also. One moment. Mm, not. Let's first uh, uh, stay uh, with pipeline script. Okay, let's stay it here. And click save. So we just what we just updated is uh, the checkbox near the GitHub hook trigger uh, save. And then let's go to GitHub repository to a web app repository. Go to settings, web hooks, add web hook. Oh, sorry, one moment. Security comes first. And here is our URL for git hook. Let's use IP address of uh, Jenkins. Port number can be omitted as it is default. Content uh, change to application JSON and click add webhook. Hmm. Actually, it should be green. Hmm. 
Okay, now it's okay. You should remove the end uh, backslash at the end. Uh, so let's go to our application. And for example, let's change something a little bit. For example, let's add one more exclamation mark and do commit. So what should happen now? Uh, GitHub should send uh, git hook, uh, a webhook, sorry, to Jenkins instance, and it should uh, start uh, the pipeline. Or oh, it doesn't happen because it should start once, uh, once manually. And once again, you commit and let's have a look. So suppose some error is here. Okay, I suppose we should go further. Let's keep it uh, off. Uh, nevertheless, uh, we should change uh, this part and uh, let's go. Uh, it's not very really useful to keep uh, a pipeline script inside uh, Jenkins pipeline. It is better to keep it in a GitHub repository also. Uh, so, uh, for this reason, uh, let's copy paste our code, go to uh, GitHub repository, and uh, let's create new file. It will be called Jenkins file, like Docker file. Here it is. And uh, before commit our changes, I would like to change uh, settings to uh, pipelines to use pipeline script from GitHub repository, source code management GIMP repository URL. Mm -hmm. It's better to copy it from here. Credentials none as it is public. Ah, and branch main. And let's save it and it commit change 
as we have created Jenkins file. Mm -hmm. Let's go to the webhook. Aha, uh -huh. here we can see a rose. Save it. I suppose backslash is needed. Let's update it. Okay, and let's try to build it. Uh, so, as you can see, the build was successful. And uh, as you can see, there is no pipeline script inside uh, this pipeline. A, a Jenkins file from GitHub was used. And that is how we can use the same pipeline in different projects. We can just uh, keep the code in Jenkins file and it will be a, a version it inside GitHub. And it's much easier uh, to use Jenkins. So let's try change our code once again. Maybe we will remove all the exclamation marks again and commit changes. Oh, and now you can see a uh, webhook was received by Jenkins and our pipeline is running. So it was running automatically without my clicking button build now. Uh, we can do it once again. It's, it's pretty funny. Uh, I add exclamation mark, commit change. And then here we can see that uh, the pipeline is already running. So let's look at our diagram once again. Let me share it to the full screen. So what was done? Uh, suppose we were a developer, we removed one exclamation mark, push our code to GitHub. The GitHub notice changed in uh, a main branch. Uh, run a webhook to Jenkins server. A Jenkins server uh, started uh, a pipeline, but it doesn't know anything about uh, the pipeline itself. It goes to a GitHub repository for both uh, application code and uh, a pipeline inside a Jenkins file. And uh, start this pipeline build, test, and 
the deploy stage. So, um, I suppose that's all for today's lesson. It's and I quite see, short. I, I see hand raised. Uh, ah. Boris, mm -hmm. you have a question? Um, yeah. Um, so for you have to help, you have to build manually at least once, or was that just um, a glitch? Uh, sorry, could you please repeat your question? Sure. Um, before the webhook worked for you, you you built manually. You press build now. Um, is that something that has to happen, or was that just Jenkins being glitchy? Um, I noticed that uh, for the first. Uh, run of pipeline it uh, a web hook doesn't work usually so when you have created pipeline and it didn't run it i noticed that a web hook doesn't work so you have to run it only even once manually and then a web hook it will be working i don't know why i got you understood thank you Anyone uh, have any other questions? Uh, then if we if we're out of questions, if we have no more questions, thank you everyone for today and talk with you tomorrow, not Friday, remember. Okay. See you later. Thank you, Artyom. Thank you, Vlad.